I got my nails did, girl. I got my nails did, girl. guys welcome back to my channel it's your resident brown skin girl and i'm back again with another video if you are an existing subscriber hey now and if you're new and you're joining me for the first time or welcome i hope you decide to subscribe and join us yeah okay cool guys so today is a friday uh, it's the 7th of may I just thought I'd do like a weekend vlog. I'm not doing anything particularly super interesting, but I thought something that was super important was for me to for me to update you guys on my skincare routine. Listen, it's completely changed. I'm experiencing the worst mask me. Okay, for me, the worst mask me. I'm basically mask me is like acne where the mask sits. So because of the humidity and how your face is always just closed up, you do end up building up acne with well, some of us. So I've got it quite bad here. So I just decided to completely change my skincare routine. Okay, anyway, I wasn't satisfied with African rooibos extract anymore. I just felt like it wasn't really elevating my skin. It wasn't really assisting me. I wasn't seeing any change. But in the midst of that, I developed mask me. And that was just my wake up point of no girl, leave African extracts, leave it girl, leave the whole damn thing. So right now I'm preparing dinner. I went and I bought um, like these burger patties at Black and these burger buns. So I'm actually going to make burgers and I'm going to oven bake chips. So we're going to have burgers and chips tonight. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do and then later on when I'm about to shower to get into bed I'm gonna show you guys. I'm at two minutes. I hope I'm not rambling. I'm gonna show you guys my new skincare routine as pagan Yes, I'm sure as pagan my eh. Also guys not me completely forgetting to show you my new nails I don't know if you can see them New nails who it is I got my nails did, girl. I got my nails did, girl. Are you straight? Are you straight? You straight? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna chop up some onion and fry that in the pan, and then after I fry the onion, I'm gonna the burgers are the last thing I'm gonna do. I think I'm also gonna make the sauce. I'll show you guys how I make the sauce. Do you care? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you anyway how I make the sauce. It's so yum, guys. <laughs> so yeah, let's get this onion business going. I'm vlogging the whole day. <laughs> Before you start something here. Okay guys, so I don't know why this has turned into a cooking show because it's really not. Um, in the burger, we're just going to have the onions, the tomatoes and some cucumber. 
and then I think what else can we add? Okay, my husband will probably add jalapenos. It's too hot for me. It's too hot for me, child. And then the sauce that I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna show you guys. This is it's getting a bit much and this is not a cooking a cooking segment. I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna put in how we make the sauce. So we mix mayonnaise this um shirata hot sauce tomato sauce guys also this tomato sauce slaps you know how if it's not all gold it's normally super light and how the other tomato sauce are light and runny this one is so similar to all gold but it's cheaper and then the last ingredient would be the sauce i can never say this word so i'm not even gonna attempt it so yeah, that's how I'm going to make the sauce and mix it up and put it in with the onions and the burger patties and the tomatoes and the cucumber and for my husband, the jalapenos. So guys, that's basically going to be stuff. I'll show you guys the finished products because I don't want to do this. This is, this is not a cooking show. I'm here to show you my new skincare routine that I started about a week ago So I've been using the skincare routine less than a week. I think it's been four days Like I said it was because I was developing mask knee So I just want to come closer to the lens and show you guys exactly what we're dealing with So we can sort of go through the journey together and I can show you guys uh, periodically maybe every month how my skin is doing so I'm coming up close and personal it's you know nobody wants to do this you know but you're gonna see you're gonna see what my skin truly looks like right now yeah so i don't know if you can tell but i think the ring light is kind of irritating me but there it is i didn't have this before so this is and you can see this is where the mask sits so i developed mask knee here comes down to my chin and then i have more of it here so yeah causes you to be a bit self-conscious but i guess um it doesn't affect you too much right now because obviously we're wearing masks but i just thought i would nip it in the bud before it goes too far so anyway guys i did a lot of research online before i started my new skincare routine uh previously i was using the african extract rooibos skincare but i just felt like it really wasn't assisting me at all uh, so i wanted to try something new so upon doing some research i found out that a product that a lot of people speak very highly about acetophil the acne prone range specifically for what i'm going through and i think so i'll show you guys Okay guys, so I quickly switched off the ring lights because it's making it difficult for my camera to focus. I'll switch it back on when we're going through with the video. But this is the face wash that I got. It's the Cetaphil Pro Acne Prone Skin Foam Wash. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so this retailed for 185 Rand. And then I also got this product. This is the Cetaphil Pro Acne Prone Skin um, Moisturizing Lotion. And this is what it looks like. Sorry. And this is what it looks like. And um, then 
ho and that retails for 175 rand and guys please go get it at Discam because at clicks it is like 220 rand so it's like such a huge price difference i didn't realize that Discam was so much cheaper than clicks honestly i had no idea but after i compared them i was like Chow. anyway another thing that i did is um if you're new to my channel you may not know that i work in a government clinic a community health center so um a friend of mine actually told me because sometimes i'm not even aware of the um, things that we have available to us via government that actually at the clinic or the chc that i work at you can go consult with the doctor and they can prescribe something for mild to severe acne so that's exactly what i did and these are the products that the doctor prescribed these are the antibiotics that he prescribed for me the doctor this is what they look so this is what the antibiotics look like inside and this is doxycycline so you can get these antibiotics at a government hospital or clinic and then um you i also got this retina a i also got this retina a cream Let's see show you guys what it looks like inside and this is the cream So this is what the cream looks like inside. So, so those are all the skin products that I'm currently using. And I just wanted to speak on this cream. Um, I was advised to use it A at night and B to apply it to the affected areas. Um, other than Cetaphil being a popular skin range uh, right now in terms of reviews, I really do like that it's soap free um and that it's non-comodogenic so i when i did the research previously i found out that um when a product is non-comodogenic it means that it is less likely to clog up your pores and when your pores are clogged that's when you end up having acne so that's another reason why i wanted this product the fact that it was so free that it was non comotogenic as well as it was fragrance free so i really i'm hoping these products are going to work out for me and i started them for four days so yeah that's basically what i'm using right now so anyway i'm just going to do my skincare routine on camera since we're all here <laughs> since we're all gathered here today guys also Oh, guys, also something that I really wanted to be transparent about is that I'm not going to start the antibiotics right now, okay? I know the mask knee is bad, but I don't think it's that bad. So I'm going to try rely on the Cetaphil products as well as the Retina A treat retina a cream that i'll be applying to the affected areas so that's basically what i'm doing right now and then if i feel like it's not getting better or it's actually getting worse then i may start the antibiotics but i'm just going to rely on the cetaphil product as well as the retina a cream another thing that's super important is i don't use um a towel to wipe my face i use a paper towel so yeah let's get it I'm gonna start off with the okay so first things first i'm gonna wet my face i'm gonna use two pumps then i'm gonna put that on my face so i'm putting it on every part of my face but i'm focusing specifically on my area with mask knee then, so like i was saying um you don't use the retina cream during the day right you use it at night so at night um the pharmacist at work recommended that i not use my cetaphil moisturizer but that i should rather just apply the retina cream on my affected areas so that even if i do have some sort of um, reaction we can be absolutely certain what's causing it so now i'm just going to apply the retina a cream on my affected area That's 
basically my um, nighttime skincare routine. The next day.